Scientists work in a variety of fields, including biology, geology, chemistry, and physics. Their job is to gather information, often through observation and experimentation, formulate theories, and then test those theories. On top of that, scientists often try to solve problems or work to develop new technologies. So videos like these might just be another day on the job for these courageous, curious people. But that doesn't mean their findings are any less terrifying. Even the experts get freaked out on occasion. 15 Unsettling Discoveries That Scare Scientists Polish Punt Boat This underground discovery scares scientists. A 500-year-old punt boat was found in a pond in Poland. It was 98 feet long. How did it go undetected for so long? A punt is a flat-bottomed boat with a square cut below, designed for use in small rivers or other shallow water. The driver generally propels the punt by pushing against the riverbed with a pole. A traditional river punt is a wooden boat with no keel, stem, or stern post, and is constructed like a ladder. The main structure consists of two side panels connected by a series of cross planks, called treads. Because a punt has no keel, the draw of the boat is only a few inches, even when fully laden, which makes the boat very maneuverable and suitable for shallow waters, like this pond used to be. A punt can be maneuvered in either direction, making it useful in narrow streams where turning the boat around may be difficult. The square-cut bow of the punt gives the boat greater carrying capacity for a given measure of length than a boat of the same beam with a narrow or pointed bow. The square-cut bow also makes the punt very stable and suitable for transporting passengers. They were originally built as cargo boats or platforms, but in modern times, their use is almost exclusively confined to pleasure trips on European rivers. This punt was excavated and is now being conserved in a museum of archaeology. Giant sea creature bones So much of the ocean is unexplored, so it was a huge surprise when scientists found these skeletal remains. The footage, taken from a remote operated vehicle almost 3,000 feet below the surface, shows a large set of bones, and after further investigation, researchers found this intact spinal column measures a massive 100 feet in length. The mysterious part is the fact that it looks like a serpent. But what kind of animal do these bones belong to? Whale bones? Giant sea snake? Or something else we can't identify? Even scientists came up empty on the skeleton's possible origins, so they posted the footage online. Ocean experts agree that the features on the skeleton's vertebrae don't match up to what you'd expect to find in the remains of a whale. In fact, the dimensions of the skeleton in the video don't fit with the usual size for any sea life in the area. People who have seen this footage guessed it could be anything from an ancient sea dragon to the fossils of some sort of serpent dinosaur. Experts also looked at the usual suspects and considered it could be some sort of giant fish. Oarfish, the longest living bony fish, are only thought to grow up to 30 feet in length. These remains are three times that. The case of the giant sea creature bones is still a mystery. Waking up Irish Recently, a girl from Brisbane, Australia woke up with an Irish accent. And no, we're not kidding. The story is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Ten days after having her tonsils removed, she started singing in the shower and noticed her Australian accent was gone. She was speaking in an Irish one instead. No, she's not putting it on to get likes on social media. She wants her Australian accent back, but she just can't switch back to her Australian accent. It's called foreign accent syndrome. And it's a rare phenomenon where someone begins speaking in a different accent after something happens to part of their brain. According to experts, it can be related to head injuries, stroke, surgery, diabetes, or something we don't even know. What has happened is that the brain is no longer able to do the incredibly complex things necessary to speak. You can understand what they're saying, but it's not really a genuine accent. But it sounds convincing. The Irish accented girl still doesn't know why her accent has changed, if it'll fade away, or if the change will have any bigger implications on her life. In the meantime, she hopes to raise awareness of what she's going through. <laughs> Mysterious black yolks. Photos and videos of these strange eggs have been doing the rounds on social media since they were posted. 
Experts are baffled at a goose in China laying eggs with strange black yolk inside them. Apparently, the eggs came from a normal gray goose. The man with the eggs claimed on social media that the goose eggs came from a friend's farm. He said he'd been gifted eggs from this farm before that had been perfectly normal. However, when he cracked open these regular-looking goose eggs, the yolk came out dark gray, almost black, rather than yellow or orange. Neither he nor the goose's owner could explain what had turned the yolks black. As the images began to circulate, some people began to come up with theories, including that the goose may have eaten a lot of black mulberries with a high melanin content. The media picked up this strange case of the black yolks and put them to a poultry expert who admitted the only thing he could think of was environmental pollution had somehow affected the color of the eggs. But he said even this explanation is tenuous, adding, scientifically speaking, such a phenomenon should not occur. Apparently, China's Academy of Agricultural Sciences is interested in finding out more about these mysterious eggs. But for now, the mystery continues. Last Selfie Ever Taken Recently, advances in AI research have produced a plethora of platforms capable of generating original images from simple text prompts, effectively extending the human imagination. The AI tool can generate a myriad of images of a user's desired subject in different contexts using the guidance of a text prompt. So with prompts like Last Selfie Ever Taken or Selfie at the End of the World or Last Selfie Ever Taken in the Apocalypse, this is what you get humans snapping photos of themselves with melting skin, blood-smeared faces, and mutated bodies while standing in front of a world that's burning and what artificial intelligence believes the last selfies will look like. The results each show a human holding a phone and behind them are scenes of bombs dropping, colossal tornadoes, and cities on fire, along with zombies standing in the middle of the destruction. These AI tools represent a massive cultural shift they remove the requirement for technical labor from the process of image making. But like other automated systems trained on historical data and internet images, they also come with risks that have not been resolved. Researchers have developed text-to-image tools that they have not yet released to the public. But whatever AI was used to create these images, the future looks pretty grim. Apocalyptic Red Sky Residents in China recently observed mysterious blood-red skies. Videos show a crimson sky over the port city, as well as a lot of fog. People witnessed the skies turning crimson red from their homes, balconies, and streets. The phenomenon's clips and pictures went viral, garnering over 150 million views on the Chinese social media sites alone. As the videos spread and widespread panic gripped the city, Television and media agencies described that the blood-red sky was caused by natural light refraction rather than a man-made effect. Local fishermen and a weather expert explained that it was caused by the refraction of red fishing lights and is actually a common phenomenon. Some of the boats near the shore shine luminous red or green. Others glow blinding white like an alien spacecraft in a movie. Rigid along each side of the ships, incandescent lamps attract giant squid near the surface where they can be hauled from the ocean. As for this red sky in China, local meteorologists confirm that this red sky is caused by refraction of lights from fishing boats. When weather patterns are good, more water in the atmosphere reflects sunlight and disperses the light of fishing trawlers creating the red sky seen by the public. <laughs> Loneliest man in the world The man of the hole as he was famously known, was an indigenous person who lived alone in the Amazon rainforest. Extremely rare video footage has emerged of a tribe member who has been called the loneliest man in the world. He was the sole inhabitant of the Tanaru indigenous territory. The man was classed as uncontacted, meaning no outsider has ever spoken to him, as far as it's known. From 1996, the authorities monitored and occasionally interacted with the man from a distance, but he otherwise chose to remain isolated. Living primarily by hunting and gathering and moving frequently, he left behind a deep hole of unknown purpose in each of his homes, giving rise to his nickname. It's not known what language he spoke, what his people called themselves, or what his name actually was. He was the last surviving member of his people. Land grabbers and cattle ranchers had completely wiped out the rest of the tribe in several attacks since the 1970s, leaving him to live out the rest of his days on his own. 
the hermit shunned all contact with the outside world, although authorities kept an eye on him and occasionally left him supplies until his death. Three-Horned Cow A bizarre three-horned cow has been filmed in Uganda. The clip, which has been viewed millions of times since it was posted, captured the bizarre animal grazing in a field. And sure enough, there it is, an extra horn. Nothing seems out of the ordinary at the beginning of the clip, but when the animal moves, it becomes apparent that the animal has three horns. Traditionally, Ankoli Watsusi cows were considered sacred. They supplied milk to the owners, but were only rarely used for meat production since an owner's wealth was counted in live animals. Because of their striking appearance and the resulting ability to attract paying customers, these cattle were imported from Africa by Europe during the late 19th and 20th centuries. So, does having an extra horn make the cow more valuable? The regular two horns on either side of the cow's head appear the average size and thickness as those seen on the original breed of this cattle. But in the middle of the cow's forehead, another horn protrudes out much like a unicorn horn. While the animal is undoubtedly unusual, this isn't the first time a three-horned cow has been captured in video. In 2018, a video showing such a cow in Brazil went viral. In 2016, some photos showed a three-horned cow in India. <laughs> Tasmanian Tiger Returns From Extinction A woman claims she spotted a mysterious animal while out on a walk in the bush. She was on a hike in Bel Air National Park in Adelaide Hills, South Australia, when her family noticed a strange animal hanging around. At first thought, the creature was either a weird-looking kangaroo or a really scraggy-looking dog, but her sister was convinced it was a Tasmanian tiger. They were officially declared extinct in Tasmania in the 1980s. The last verified living, breathing Tasmanian tiger died at a zoo in 1936. Just two months after the species was granted protected status, since then there have been regular instances of people claiming to have seen or pictured one of the animals. When it was alive, this animal was a formidable apex predator, though exactly how large its prey animals were is disputed. According to the hikers, this animal was bigger than a fox, but it definitely didn't look like one. The tail was completely different, its back was really sloped down, and its head was a completely different shape. However, animal experts claimed it's virtually impossible for this creature to be a Tasmanian tiger with the last confirmed sighting nearly 90 years ago. The animal was most likely Tasmanian patamelon, a type of wallaby believed to have been part of the diet of Tasmanian tigers. The Chemical with Memories Scientists in Switzerland have discovered that a compound used in electronics is capable of remembering previous external stimuli in a similar way to neurons in the human brain. A PhD student in electrical engineering made the chance discovery while conducting research on vanadium dioxide. For his thesis, he set out to discover how long it takes for VO2 to transition from one state to another. In doing so, he observed a memory effect in the material structure. During the experiment, the student applied electric current to a sample of VO2. The current moved across the material, following a path until it exited on the other side. He said, after the current passed in the first application, the material returned to its state, and after the second application, the material began to show remembering features. It's a novel discovery. No other material behaves in this way. The researchers went on to find that VO2 is capable of remembering its most recent external stimuli for up to three hours. This is the first material to be identified as possessing this property, but there could be others out there. The findings could have major implications for the future of electronic devices. The Heartfish Created by researchers at Harvard University, this fish-like biohybrid recreates muscle contractions of a pumping human heart to push its tail fin side to side. The living robofish that's built from human cardiac cells and swims just like a fish could pave the way for artificial hearts, a new study reveals. Under half an inch long, it's made of plastic fins and a paper spine, but on either side are two strips of living heart cardiac muscle cells that perform these contractions. The tiny artificial fish flips its tail from side to side and swims around its salt and glucose solution, mimicking the muscle contractions of a beating heart. According to a bioengineer professor, the ultimate goal of the research is to build an artificial heart that can replace a malformed heart in a child, for example. 
Although creating something that looks like a heart may seem pretty straightforward, creating something that actually functions like one is much more difficult. Scientists have high hopes for this strange device. The device, which could be mistaken for a real fish on casual viewing, was inspired by the shape and swimming motion of a zebrafish. Aside from its applications in the field of robotics, the scientists believe their creation marks a step toward being an artificial heart. The Levitating Meteorite Situated in a state museum in the city of Chelyabinsk, Russia, this popular exhibit contains a chunk of the infamous meteor which injured over 500 people and caused significant damage over a wide area when it exploded over the region back in 2013. And recently, perplexing CCTV footage emerged showing its display case slowly moving up and down over the course of several minutes. It moved so much, in fact, that it triggered an alarm and alerted the museum's security staff. And although a mechanism does exist to lift the dome, a museum spokesman has emphatically denied that this had anything to do with the phenomenon. The celestial origin of a meteorite fragment sparked some light-hearted speculation about why the dome covering it mysteriously lifted up while bemused visitors looked on. The piece lay pride of place in the historical museum and was a key draw to visitors who wanted to find out about the meteorite that strained retinas and dazzled the sky above the city nestled near the Ural Mountains years ago. The size of a six-story building, the entire meteorite was the largest natural object to breach the Earth's atmosphere for more than a century. But as to why the display case levitated, no one knows. The Sound of Black Holes In space, can anyone hear you scream? Typically, no. Not unless you're a supermassive black hole. NASA made this very apparent recently, sharing what the agency described as the sound of a black hole available to human ears in listenable format. And if you're wondering how does sound travel in the vacuum of space, NASA has an explanation. The misconception that there's no sound in space originates because most space is a vacuum, providing no way for sound waves to travel. A galaxy cluster has so much gas that they've picked up actual sound. The galaxy cluster Perseus is about 240 million light years away from Earth. Here it's amplified and mixed with other data to hear a black hole. No surprise, the sound is terrifying. That's because astronomers discovered that the pressure waves sent out by the black hole caused ripples in the cluster's hot gas that could be translated into a note, one that humans cannot hear some 57 octaves below middle C. That's deeper than deep if you're a musical note. The signals are being heard 144 quadrillion and 288 quadrillion times higher than their original frequency. That means that sound isn't exactly what you would hear if you were close to the black hole, and if humans were able to hear this kind of sound. Eka Stones Housed in a small private museum are more than 10,000 of these very special Eka Stones, carved with intriguing images of a lost civilization. They're shallowly engraved with a variety of images, some simple pictures on one side of a pebble, up to designs of great complexity. These stones have an astonishing variety of images covering a vast array of subjects. Dinosaurs frolicking, assorted extinct animals, maps and depictions of advanced surgical methods, plus images of flowers, fish, or living animals of various sorts. There's even some adult content carved into these stones that would make anyone blush. Let's just say there's a lot to look at. So what's the origin story? The stones first turned up on the property of a local farmer in Peru in the 1960s and 70s. And over the years, the farmer allegedly found hundreds of these carved stones, which attracted the attention of scholars who saw the stones as evidence of visitations from remote planets or proof of the coexistence of dinosaurs and man, or possibly both. Turns out, no. The farmer admitted to carving them all himself and artificially aging them in order to pass them off as ancient artifacts. Schist Disc The iconic Disc of Sabu, or Schist Disc, is one of the most mysterious objects found in the tomb of Tutankhamun, whose true purpose is still a puzzle for researchers. The prehistoric artifact was found in 1936 and dates back to 3000 BC. But what was it used for? Over the years, many convincing theories surfaced, almost immediately following its discovery. The disc was dismissed as being a vase or incense burner, 
or simply a trivial decorative or ceremonial item. But many believe that this is far from the truth. One glimpse in just the basic knowledge of engineering offers a wholly different interpretation. This disc could be part of a larger mechanism. Apparently, the disc part of a centrifugal pump. When placed in the housing and propelled at high speed via the small shaft at its center, the disc was extremely efficient at displacing water. Furthermore, when propelled without housing to direct the displaced water, the disc creates a powerful vortex. Thanks to the intricately carved details, the disc is able to displace water with ease and is seemingly a crucial component of a water pump mechanism. It's made of schist stone, an extremely brittle rock, and not an uncommon material for the construction of vases and bowls in ancient Egypt. See, there are things on this planet that can even unsettle scientists. Did these videos have the same effect on you? We hope so. So like and subscribe and be the first to see more great videos. There's more where that came from.